Starting and running a business is hard, but you don't have to do it alone. Whether you're an established business owner or thinking about starting a side hustle to earn extra income, I am here to teach you how to show up as your unfiltered self, level up your business, and thrive as a mompreneur. Let's embrace the chaos and start enjoying the journey together. I'm Amy Tra, and you're listening to the Motivated Mompreneur Podcast. Welcome back into the Motivated Mompreneur Podcast. Today, I am chatting with India. She is the queen of video marketing and getting you to feel confident on camera because honestly, that's something I struggled with so bad when I first started my business. I mean, still when I go live, like I break out in a sweat, like my armpits get all gross. I, yeah, it's just not great. But you know, it's it's getting easier. And it's so nice that there are people like India there to help guide us through the process to make it just less icky and really be able to show up confidently as ourselves. So with that being said, I would love to welcome India into the podcast today. Hello. Amy, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. (laughs) Yes, I am so excited to have you here. We connected through um, a mutual mentors um, networking call chat type thing. And I just loved what India did. And I'm like, I need to bring this woman into my world so she can share her knowledge with my listeners, because this is something, let's be honest, that we've all dealt with at one point or another. So India, tell us more about yourself, who you are, what you do and who you serve. Yeah. So my name is India Brown. I am a video marketing strategist. Pretty much I partner with vision-driven mompreneurs. So your audience um, to increase their sales, their impact and their visibility by leveraging the power of video marketing. Um, I'm based here in the greater Philadelphia area and I have two girls under four. (laughs) Literally they're like a year apart. So it's quite a quite a bit of a circus here. Um, And then I am married and what else? I think that's about all personally and professionally. That's amazing. So let's dive into the power of video marketing. So why should we as business owners be incorporating this into our day-to-day marketing strategy? Video is definitely not going anywhere. Um, You can look at the statistics. I'm very data-driven. I would say, you know, right before the pandemic, people like TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts. I feel like all these short form platforms are competing against each other. And, you know, quite frankly, people's attention spans are getting shorter and shorter. Um, Another reason is, you know, as the economy gets, you know, more and more crazier, I just want to say uncertain um, times we're living in right now, people are holding on to their wallets a little bit tighter not saying that they don't want to spend money they're just being more intentional and more decisive on how they're spending their money and video is definitely going to help you um you know to to help to help break them uh, like some of their their pain points so if they are unsure of working with you you know your personality is going to come through on video like no other medium yeah, so so that was true. A long <laughs> no, but I love it because you made so many good points. You know, the first of which was our attention spans. They're so yep. flipping short now. I mean, it yep. is absolutely crazy. Are we less than a goldfish now? I think that's like the latest. It's crazy. I read. It's crazy. Like that's nuts. Um, yeah, you have about three to seven seconds to capture someone's attention. That's- yeah. And I watch my girls on YouTube. Don't judge me for screen time. <laughs> um, literally, they'll watch something for like five seconds and they're like scrolling on to the next like thumbnail. And it's just so fascinating to me to, you know, try to figure out what thumbnail, you know, grabs their attention. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, that brings us into another good topic is like, with video you have to grab you have to like really yeah. hook people in. So yeah. How, how can we do that? Like, how can we make ourselves stand out so people aren't just seeing us and like flipping by? What what advice can you give us? Get straight to the point and make it about them. Like back in the day in YouTube, people would say, okay, in this video today, we're gonna, no one cares. Like right. if I come across a video like that, sorry, I'm like so blunt. <laughs> but I love if it. I, come across, <laughs> I just, I love being honest and authentic with, you know, my audience and then, you know, other audiences, but 
if I come across a video like that on YouTube, I'm fast forwarding it until they get to the point. And I think everyone else does that. So, you know, making it about them, showing your personality, like right off the bat, that's definitely going to, that's going to help keep, you know, the viewer on your video. Oh, I love that. And especially as moms, I do that too. If somebody's spending like the whole time telling me like, all right, hello. Yep. Like, I don't care. Like I <laughs> need know, the information like now. Too. <laughs> hey, like we don't have tons of time to just be sitting around all day. Like we need yep. answers now. Get to the point. Yep. Tell me what you need to yep. tell me. And let's yep. move on. But I love too yep. how you mentioned, you know, video really does show our personality. And I think mm. now more than ever, that's something that during the pandemic, we just craved that connection. We craved that community, just like really yeah. like getting to know the person. And video is yeah. such a good way to show who you are and put some personality into it. What are your yeah. thoughts around that? It's definitely a million percent correct, um, especially in the pandemic. I mean, we were all isolated. So I'm sure a lot of people, you know, started binging TikToks and Instagram reels and vlogs. Um, I have... I haven't been watching any vlogs, mom life. I just don't have time to watch them anymore. But I used to be a super, 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 you know, vlog binger. Like that was my Netflix. <laughs> it sounds weird, but, you know, I love, you know, seeing the day in the life of, you know, another mom or whoever I was watching. So, you know, it just, it gives you another, you know, kind of like a live perspective on that person that you can't get through, you know, a static image or a blog post. Right, right. And that's, yep. you know, I think something we forget a lot is that people buy from people. If you can form yep. that connection with them, I mean, yep. it just makes the whole process that much easier on you because now you're not having to constantly chase those clients. You know, it's just by yep. being you and showing who you are. I mean, that's our superpower as business owners. Yeah. It's the unique way we yep. do it. I mean, honestly, yep. everything we're doing as business owners, you can Google, you can, you know, learn somewhere else. Like nothing's really <laughs> yep. proprietary and that's yep. okay. It's yep. you doing your thing in a unique yep. way. That's, that's where the secret sauce is. I literally, I was going to say that's, that's the secret sauce. I posted a reel on this very same thing and it went like mini viral and all I was doing was cleaning my desk, but I said, you know, what you just said in like a, a semi different way. And people were like, oh my gosh, like so many views and likes. I'm like, gosh, wow. But like when people think video, they think, oh, you know, it has to be this production, you know, this has to be right and that has to be right and I have to have it scripted. It's like nowadays people just want, you know, the more authentic it is, as long as your your, your camera is clear and your audio is crispy, you're golden. Yeah. And I yeah. love how you say, you know, the more authentic, the better. Because honestly, I found that the things that I just do on a whim and throw up there do way they better do the than yep. the things yep. that I've like really like thought about and kind of planned yep. out in my brain. And then I'm like, wow, this is going to do great. And then you look and you're like, yep. well, it flops, womp, right? <laughs> exactly. Like you put all yep. this time, energy into it. But yep. it's just those, those on a whim, just, hey, I'm being me that really people yep. connect to. Now, yep. there are so many different platforms out there. There's so many different ways to use video marketing. Where does someone even start to decide, like, I know. should I be on it, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, ooh, what do you do? All the things, all yeah. the things, so many platforms. I mean, there's a new platform coming out. Actually, it's live, Lemonade. Have you heard of yeah, it? Yeah, I've heard of it. I've heard of it. I heard it's like a mashup between, is it Pinterest and TikTok? And TikTok, or I, yeah. and I don't even know when something yeah. else how all had a baby together and that's that's the byproduct of it. And it's, yep, yeah, exactly. it can be overwhelming as a business owner because there's constantly new platforms coming out. So how do we navigate that? So when it comes to platforms, I always tell my clients, you know, figure out where your target audience is. You don't want to create video content on LinkedIn if you're, you know, if your target audience isn't there or, you know, if if your target audience is on Instagram, you know, vice versa. Um so figure out where your target audience is definitely is key priority. Um and then another thing you can use video outside of platforms. Like I have a whole freebie 
23 ways on how to get clients using video marketing. So a few of them is you can use them in the DMs. Like sometimes I will send a new follower um, that follows me on Instagram, a quick video. Um, that's been very helpful. Um, or you can use it in emails. I love using videos and emails, especially like that first email that they get, like in the welcome sequence. There's so many ways that you can use video. Like you can make your own gifts and put those in emails and, you know, webinars and product testimonials and video case studies. Like literally there's so many ways that you can use video that doesn't have to be necessarily on a social media platform. Oh, so, so good. So yep. now that you've gotten listeners to buy in, like, okay, we know this is powerful stuff. We need to do this, but you're scared. Like, yeah, right? I look weird on camera. People are going to judge me. I don't know. Like, I I'm just awkward. Where how do you tell your clients and how do you help them get past that fear of showing up? Yeah, I mean, I, I relate it to um, an onion. I feel like there's so many layers to pull back. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what I found with clients, you know, just comes down to them not being confident, either confident with with how they look or how they sound. I, I know that sounds so weird. Um, or not confident in the aspect of not howing, not knowing how to show up, not even knowing what type of content cr to create. Um, those are the two biggest things that I found when working with clients. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, that's, that's a very real fear. And I think so many times it's not even that we're afraid of the camera. It's we're afraid of the judgment. We're afraid of like yeah. putting ourselves out there and being vulnerable because it does take mm -hmm. a little bit of a vulnerability to be able to just show up on camera as yourself. And, you know, it's so many times these, these thoughts and limiting beliefs that we're telling ourselves that aren't even true, but I yep. mean, for me, like the way I've built my confidence, I've just kept doing it. Like, yeah, I yeah. don't know. Sometimes you just have to rip the bandaid off and just do it. And <laughs> yeah. I think it's important to touch on that. Like, you're not going to start at like this beautiful, like video, like you just need yeah. to start. Like I look yeah. back at some of my like early reels and I'm like, oh gosh, that was really cringy. But <laughs> I don't know. Have you found that too, that in doing it, gets easier you kind yeah, of get gets better. better as you go yep it does yep and that's with anything that's just you know creating video content that's going live I had clients before where they're like oh my gosh I have to go live and I'm like yes <laughs> but here here's a tip that I would say I would say start small if you mm -hmm. haven't created any any video content before start in your stories that way, only the people that view your story will see it. So not all of your followers, because not all of your followers are, you know, checking your story. So start there, do that on a daily basis. And then as you're talking, as you're showing up there, people are going to respond to your stories, like showing them how your day is going, you know, pick their brain, ask them a question. There are so many ways that you can incorporate video into your Instagram stories. Um, another way that has been super helpful is collaboration just like we're doing right now. I know this isn't a video podcast. I have a video podcast, but um, that helps when I'm, you know, in a creative rut. I'm like, oh gosh, I still have to show up. So, you know, let me have a guest on my podcast. So collaboration is definitely important. You can use it as a clutch <laughs> sometimes when, like I said, as you're in a, in a creative rut or you're nervous because it, it you know, makes it more, real it's just like a conversation and you don't even think about the camera rolling so i would say those are like my two top tips on oh my getting, gosh you know over camera yep <laughs> those are such good points you make though and it's it's things Thank that are you. so simple yet we forget yep. so often i mean even with yep. collaboration that has been something that has just been such a game changer for me but it took yep. getting out of that scarcity mindset and i mean it's going to be there because that's our brain's job is to keep us safe but once yep. you can shift to that abundance mindset like oh my gosh oh yeah <laughs> that is where like the massive growth explodes. And I mean, it's yep. everywhere. And you see like these people that are in these really high up places, what do they do? They collaborate with each other. Yep. And we were just talking yep. about a Smart. conference that I'm going to where you have women that are doing essentially the same thing. You know, they're talking on mindset and very similar topics, but they all have their unique way of doing it. They all bring something yep. else to the table. 
And it's yep. in collaboration that they're promoting themselves now to all those other audiences. And, you know, there's really no competition. It's just, there's so much abundance. So yep. love, love, love that tip. And Thank the you tip so much. You gave about <laughs> stories too. That's the perfect place to start because guess oh, what? Yeah. You're right. Yep. Not yep. everybody is going to be viewing your story. And Yep. What a better place to practice where somewhere it disappears after 24 hours. You know, yep. it's a very small percentage of your followers are actually seeing that. So sometimes being a beginner is a beautiful thing because you don't yeah. have too many eyeballs on you. I you know, know, you have that chance to practice <laughs> without yep. as much pressure. Attention. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. A million percent. <sighs> so, so good. <laughs> Any other parting tips or ways that you have found that we can really start to show up confidently? Um, I would just say, you know, just thinking about your target audience, you know, figure out, you know, what, where they want to be at the end of the day and create content around that. Like I know a lot of people say, you know, create content around their pain points and everything, but that's fine. And I always tell my clients to do that, but I want you to think about their journey. If you are a, you know, if you're an empowerment coach, you know, what would that look like? What does that journey look like at the end of the day in, you know, 60, 90 days, what are they trying to accomplish? So paint that roadmap out in your content. And I would say, you know, just educate the, do you curse on your podcast? You can no, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Educate the shit out of your podcast, <laughs> your, out of your content, your audience. So um, I would say, yeah, I would say that. Oh, so, so good. <laughs> and it's just, it's a reminder that we need to hear. Like, it's just, you know, yeah. do the darn thing, show up because people buy from people. Like that's, this is literally one of the fastest ways you can build that no like trust factor. It's not through the static literally. posts. It's I'd say it all the time. Nice. <laughs> I say it all the time. Nice. The bloggers, the emails. And I'm like, you can incorporate video into all of that. Like when people, you know, approach me, oh, you know, I don't want to put all of my eggs in one basket. Well, you're not, because if right. you are creating video, you can repurpose that into a blog post. You can, you know, download the audio and you have a blog post right there. So now, like, I'm all about working smarter, not harder, especially as a mom. Like that just makes my life so much more easier and efficient. Like don't spin on their hands on the hamster wheel. So exactly. That's another plus of video too. <laughs> yes. Yes. Harness the power of technology to work Seriously. for you. I mean, it is incredible. Yeah. Some of the things that are coming out now and oh, just yeah. some of the systems, automations, backend things that you can just literally put on autopilot to eliminate those tedious tasks off your plate. I mean, and yep. you hit the nail on the head as a mom, we're busy. We need to yep. work so much smarter not harder. Yes. <laughs> oh, so good. So if you guys are struggling with video content, if you're like, I don't know where to start, you need to get in India's world. So India, <laughs> how do we get into your world? Yeah, definitely. So you can find me on Instagram. My handle is video by India. Um, I also host a weekly networking call for mompreneurs. That's every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern. Um, all the links are in my bio. I have a podcast that I need to start posting more regularly, um, but the name of that is Real Mom Marketing. So yeah, that's pretty much everywhere that I hang out online. Oh, this was so good. You dropped so I had many so much fun. juicy nuggets in here, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. This was so great. So thank you for taking time out of your busy thank schedule. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, yes, it was my pleasure. And until next time, stop dreaming and start taking messy action. You've got this. Are you loving what you're hearing? Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode.